Hello guys, have you ever found yourself overwhelmed with the tools that you are using every day to create your games? Like which one are actually worth the time using it? Um, and as an indie game developer for almost 8 years now, I've tried many different kind of tools, software slash AI tools that I thought it could enhance my workflow and productivity in creating games. Here, I'll be showing you my top five big software slash AI tools that I usually use to enhance my workflow in indie game development. Oh, and spoiler alert, one of the app I'll show you today completely replaced an app that I've been using for the past five years every day, and I'll explain why. First on the list is JetBrains Rider. If you're a student, the latest version of the app gives you free access to the app for personal use for free. And it's honestly one of the best IDs I've ever used for game development. I've worked with Visual Studio and VS Code for years, but when I found Rider, everything changed. And here is why. Let's say if you're writing a C++ code in Unreal Engine, Rider makes things so much easier. Debugging, simple. Adding breakpoints, no problem. It even has a built-in AI tools to help you writing the code, like this multi-line code completion, which lets you auto-complete the multiple lines of code in a matter of seconds. And this AI chat that you can ask everything about your code and it will explain everything to you. What really makes it better than VS Code and Visual Studio for me is the setup. Just install it and it works perfectly fine. No need extra plugins to get things running. And for me, it's a no-brainer and it deserves a spot in this list. Next one is Notion. I used to rely on Trello and Google Docs for managing my project and for writing GDDs. But as my project got bigger, for me, it became a hassle. Switching between Trello to plan on features and Google Docs for writing ideas felt so messy and slow. That's why I switched to Notion. It combines both into one single app. You can manage tasks, write documents, and keep everything organized in one place. It's cleaner, faster, and way more convenient. Although it has a learning curve at first, but when you got used to it, trust me, it will be very, very convenient and more reliable than using both of both Trello and Google Docs uh, simultaneously. And since switching, I've been way more productive. The third on this list is Miro. It's more like a game design and brainstorming tool rather than a project management app. But once my team and I start using it, it saved a lot of our time and our workflow improved a lot. With Miro, we can break everything down into a large flexible canvas where we brainstorm ideas and plan features together in real time. We can add sticky notes, images, links, and even draw directly on the canvas. For our team, Miro has become an essential part of the process, especially for our game designers. They use it to design puzzles, create rough storyboards, and mark specific elements in the game that need attention during development. And for me, it's one of those tools that definitely worth trying. Whether you're working on a solo project or collaborating with a team, it makes planning and conceptualizing your project more easier and smoother. So that's why it deserves the number three spot in this list. The next tool I want to mention is version control services like GitHub, Git, Source 3, Unity version control, maybe Perforce or something like that. These tools let you uh, manage your code, track changes, and merge work seamlessly. For me, it's a must have for keeping your project organized, especially when working in a team or collaborating in a project. For Unreal Engine games, however, when I was working in a larger game company, they used Perforce instead of GitHub, which works similarly to GitHub, but it's better for large files and asset-heavy projects like Unreal Engine's projects. Since GitHub limits file to only 100 megabyte per individual file and 1 gigabyte for a repository instead of you using the Git LFS, Perforce can handle much bigger projects, making it ideal for Unreal Engine projects. And for me, Version control, hands down, is the most important thing for your project. Whether you are a solo game developer or you are working in a team, it keeps everything running smoothly and ensures no work is overridden. And the last tool on the list is Eleven Labs, an AI voice generator. If you are looking to create a high quality voiceover or sound effect for your game without having to like search up for um, sound effects online or samples online, this tool is a game changer. I usually use it during prototyping to preview sound effects or dialogue before handing them off to my audio team for refinement. What's great about Eleven Labs is how versatile it is. You can create realistic voiceovers, adjust tones, and even customize voices to fit specific characters or moods in your game. It's also super quick, making it perfect for early stage development when you need a placeholder or ideas to test. 
Hello guys, it's me from the future and I just want to show you how powerful the app is, how powerful the tool is to create a stunning and beautiful voiceover or sound effect for your game. And here is the 11 laps. I'm in the app right now. Make sure you have logged in with your account and make sure you have the credit remaining. Here I'm using the free version so I'm not sponsored in this video. I just want to show you like how powerful the, the tool is. And on the voices here, you can uh, pick between many different kind of um, voices from different type of style, gender, or maybe accent. Let's choose this Jeremy. Love is a serious mental disease. Just click on use here. And here you can just, um, just put any text you want. And here you got some settings over here. You can maybe just play around with the value. And when you are done, just click on general speech. We have no much time to do. Hurry up and send this package to that guy over there. It doesn't sound like the AI generated voices. But keep in mind that you have to consider the license on this. It might be different when you are using the free version and the paid version. But anyways, that's very a very high quality and stunning voices coming out from this app over here. And the second one, we have the sound effect where you can generate and explore different kind of um, sound effects here. Uh, let's choose fantasy and let's test it out. Alright, not bad. And you can also click on this generate tab here. You can generate your own sound effect. Oh damn. It's not perfect for sure, but you knew it. Like it's just for you to get ideas, reference, or like me, I'm handing it out to my audio team for referencing. A very great tool for that. And you can also use it for like a simple project. And yeah, let's head back to the studio. And that's it. Those are the tools I usually use as an indie game developer. Whether you're just starting making games or you have been collaborating in a team, I hope you found something here to improve your workflow both for you and your team let me know in the comments which tools you use and if there is something i missed please let me know down below in the comments and i will be very happy to uh hear feedbacks from you guys and if you got any questions or maybe you can share your experience using it feel free to leave some comments that's it for this video it's kind of different from my previous videos thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye oops bye bye